In the Football K League, Incheon United has been the surprise team so far this season. In previous years, Incheon had struggled to avoid relegation, but this season they are sitting near the top of the table. With our guest today for Touch Basin's hole leading the line, the Montenegrin striker Stefan Magosa has made a big contribution with his goals, even leading him to win the league's Player of the Month award for the February March period. I'm delighted to say that he joins us now via video. Mr. Magosa, hello and welcome to the show. Hello, thank you for calling me. Thank you. Well, first, I have to say congratulations on winning the season's first Player of the Month award. I understand this is your second time that you've received this award since you joined the club in 2018, and that was uh, back in September 2020 as well. How does it feel to have won it again? Uh, thank you so much. Like you say, I win this award. I need to say thank you to my teammates who helped me a lot to win this award, and of course, my fans. Uh, we play uh, very well this season and from beginning I score like uh, now seven goals and especially for this uh, February and March, March uh, months uh, I scored three very very important goals but uh, my team helped me too much to because we don't concede any goal and uh, we, we I bring so important like nine nine points and this was uh, like uh, like key of this this part of the season. Yeah, Inchon are having an incredible start to the season. Uh, nine games into the season, you sit second in the table with five wins and only one loss. Uh, as I mentioned at the start, Inchon is usually a team that uh, finds itself at the other end of the table. And you even have the nickname Survival Kings, the Sengjunwang, as the team usually struggles uh, during the season, but uh, always manage to avoid relegation each year anyway. So what factors are contributing to this great run of form? This year, like you say, we start very, very, very good and uh, some new players come to Incheon, good, very good quality players and they help us a lot. They have experience and uh, head coach is here like already two years and he make like this uh, nice like family atmosphere and one team atmosphere and uh, uh, on the training it's great atmosphere and uh, perfect mood and just we, we, we work hard on the training and and uh, on the game we show our best and uh, with our supporters with our fans we we win uh, five games like you say and this was like a very 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 good start of the season and this uh, nickname like survivor king it's uh, i hope it's uh, behind us now we need to find maybe this uh, new nickname uh, i hope we will be uh, this season on the top of the table Definitely. Uh, could you sense that there was going to be this sort of uh, better form this year as the season was starting? Yeah, of course. Uh, now we are uh, staying here in training camp. We have like six or seven days uh, training hard here. And I think that we, we, we are, of course, we are motivated to, to play more better than, than, than now what we do. And as you said, you've scored uh, seven goals in nine games this season. Have you been doing anything different this this season that has perhaps uh, contributed to your game as well? Yeah, like I say, we have like a uh, very good team this year and my teammates uh, helped me too much. And uh, I just need to be focused on uh, chance what I get. And uh, I need to score goal. Of course, it's not easy, but like I say every time, uh, without my teammates, I cannot do nothing. And I'm so happy that they helped me and with my goals, I help my team and I make happy my fans and my club. And now it's now it's everything perfect till now. I hope we will do the same things in the future, but uh, let's see, we go game by game. Sure. It must be uh, great to see for you, especially because you have been with the team for so long. You joined in 2018, so uh, four years ago now. Uh, the current form must feel extra special for you then. Yeah, like you like you say, I come here 2018. For me, for me, it's uh, very nice here. But uh, last four years was too much stressful for us, for our club. <laughs> uh, you know that every year we fighting for relegation, and mm. uh, every time last game we win and stay in in, in K League. But this year change change uh, change some things, and uh, I hope this is this is way what we need to follow. 
Uh, you have previously played in your native country, Montenegro, uh, Germany and Moldova as well. But I believe Incheon is where you have stayed the longest now. And in fact, you have played over 100 games for Incheon. Uh, what is it about Incheon and the K-League that has made you want to stay for so long? Uh, from beginning, uh, everybody from the club accepted me very well. And I started to play very good from, from my first game. And uh, after it was easy to decide to stay because uh, uh, too much love and too much support from our fans uh, I get. And uh, for me, it's uh, like easy to play here in Incheon because of this love. Also, my family love Incheon. And uh, for us, it's perfect here to, to live. It's uh, Incheon, it's very nice, very nice city. And people are so kindly, especially in Korea, of course. But Incheon is uh, like my second home. We really love this city and also it's uh, for me also important it's close to airport because you know i play for the national team i go every time and it's not easy but when you are happy and you have everything here when you first came to korea did you think you'd stay so long uh to be honest no but uh, i spoke many times with uh, dayan you know dayan he's a k-league legend here and he just uh, told me that come here and you will enjoy believe me and of course I, I come here and and now now I'm so proud and so happy to stay in Incheon this long 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 time and uh, I hope I will stay more more long time here uh, have you found anything particular about the K league that you think sets it apart from uh, some of the other leagues that you've played in or seen uh, what makes the K league special in your eyes K League, it's very organized league. Start from the uh, infrastructure, stadium, media, ground, everything, fans, everything is on on the top level. And especially, it's uh, uh, they play dynamic, dynamic football, and uh, also too much fight. And I think this this Korean mentality I like too much. And uh, I think K League is one of the best league or best league in Asia. Mm. What's been your perhaps uh, most memorable or best uh, moment with the team over the past uh, four years, over the past five seasons now? Oh, I, it's it's hard to say. Only one. I have a lot uh, uh, every year. Like, but maybe this this game when we play against uh, Gyeongnam away away game, they come a lot of our fans, and uh, even this game finish zero zero. I felt that we play in Incheon, that in front of our supporters, because I think over two, three thousand fans come in this long trip in in Gyeongnam. This was this was game like like I feel like oh, oh my god, this is um, this that was amazing game for us. Yeah. And then we play when, zero when was zero. That? Uh, 2019, I think. Right. 2000 or or 20. Mm. I think 19. Mm. Uh, this was last game. This was last game against Gyeongnam, and then Gyeongnam go to play this uh, relegation game against second league team, and we stay direct uh, in in K League. If it was uh... and one more game, one more game against Sognam, when I score, I come back from the national team. I was so tired. I just train one day with the team, and I score this goal uh, uh, through the through the wall from free kick, and we win this game one zero. This also was phenomenal. Uh, feeling for, for me. You mentioned uh, that one of those games was in 2019. That would have been under the manager uh, Yu Sang Chol as well, the national team hero, yes. who sadly uh, yes. passed away last year after battling cancer. He, of course, helped the team stave off relegation uh, that year in 2019, despite his diagnosis at the time. That must have been an emotional time to play during that and also to. Yeah know what he was going through and managing to survive relegation and then also last year having to say goodbye to him yeah it was yeah i don't like to speak about this this is too emotional for me mm. because i have like similar similar like happened in my life also with my father and this is was like very very hard moment in my life but you know we need to you know we need to go in we need to looking in the future and yeah this is life and I'm so sorry about this, but yeah, we need to keep fighting till the, of course. Sure, many of the fans will, of course, have him uh, in their hearts and uh, they will have a lot of memories with him and with you as yeah. well. You mentioned how you also represented your country, Montenegro, 
Uh, I understand, though, that recently you got a call from the national team to join up again, but uh, you turned it down. Is that right? Yeah, we speak. I speak also, of course, with with the club and also with my national team head coach. And we decide to stay this time in the in Incheon because I need to be focused uh, of the this part of the season because I think this beginning is very important for Incheon. Now we collect some points and we play good. And this next month also we have important important games, and I hope we need to also collect uh, so much as possible points and. Uh, uh, head coach understand this and he, he released me to stay here and I was so thankful. But now in the June, we have uh, like four games for the league, league nations. And uh, I hope, of, of course, I will go this time for the national team to help my my teammates there. OK, so you're not retiring from international duty yet or anything like that? No, no, no. I love to play for my country. I'm so proud because of that and uh, I want to play a long time more for the national team, yeah. It still shows that uh, how much affection you have for Incheon, especially at this time as well, that you're willing to give up uh, extra caps uh, to continue to uh, play here and make sure that the team is ready for the next round of games. Yeah, like I say, here in, in, in the team atmosphere is, is very nice and uh, we just train hard and... Uh, uh, this this what we have like uh, family atmosphere it's 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 our strong point and especially when we play in our home stadium with our fans I think uh, we are like different d- different club as last few years and uh, now every K League club know that you know and uh, it's not easy to play against us especially home. And how are you preparing for the rest of the season? Do you think you'll be able to keep this current form up? We need to try to keep, like, uh, we will play, like I say, uh, game by game, but we need to try to to put more level up. Uh, till now it was good, but uh, we are not, we, we will not be satisfied only till now. We need to play still, like, uh, 29 or 30 games more. We need to play, like, uh, too much points more we need to we, we need to collect and uh, after end of the season we will be happy like our our plan was to be to to go in ACL and it will be perfect if we if we do that and we will try everything to do that well you've had a great start uh, hopefully you can keep it going uh, do you have a message for the Incheon United fans out there yeah, just say thank you for supporting like always and uh, we love you guys too much and uh, we can't wait to play again uh, in front of you. Uh, yes, uh, we will do our, we will give 200% to, to, to win every game, but uh, you know, it's K-League, it's 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 very difficult league and, uh, but we we will do to, 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 to be like on the top level. Sure. Well, we wish you the best of luck for the rest of the season. We've been speaking to Stefan Magosa, the striker for Incheon United. Thank you for your time today. Thank you so much. Thank you.